After the cancellation of both the Coachella and Stagecoach Music Festivals until April 2021, businesses in Indio now have to adjust to losing millions in revenue from visitors. But next year, there could be an extra boost. I spoke today with Indio Mayor Glenn Miller. Mayor Miller, thanks for joining us. My pleasure, Peter. Thanks for having us on. I remember when I spoke with you back in May, I asked, do you think Coachella is going to happen this year? And you raised your hand, but I guess not so much now. Well, I raised my hand because I'm a believer. We had a contract with uh, Golden Voice. We were hoping we'd get through this pandemic and as a city councilman and the mayor of the city, you know, we're always hoping to be able to have that economic impact for just not only the city of Indio, but the whole Coachella Valley. And so maybe it was wishful thinking, but we have a great partnership with Golden Voice and the Empire Polo Club. Was this surprising to you then that they canceled? No, not really. We've had a little bit of discussions. I talked to Paul Tillett every once in a while on the phone just to keep him abreast of what's going on in the city. And he also keeps me abreast of what's going on in Golden Voice and how things are, are moving forward. So, you know, we were really all looking at what the county supervisors were going to do along with the head of the Department of Health, uh, Dr. Kaiser, along with the governor, really. You know, we were kind of at their mercy to see what we were going to be able to do to pull this off and hopeful. And uh, like I said, now it's going to be moved from October to April. And it might be a blessing because I, we don't know what kind of Coachella Fest and stagecoach we were going to have. So surprising, no. Uh, disappointed, yes. I was just about to ask you, was this, like you said, maybe a blessing because they're saying there could be a second spike of coronavirus? Well, I think that and people are so used to Coachella Fest, uh, Music Festival and Stagecoach being in April. And could we do back to back? You know, there's so much unknown. How much would people have been able to enjoy this? Would they be worried about, you know, the coronavirus and getting near people? You know, from the band to the vendors, there's just so much unknown. And this isn't a, like a bus. This is a freight liner trying to stop it because of the mass amount of planning and stuff that goes in on this. So there's a lot of things that go about you know, when you start talking about people of what they need to do uh, to set this organization up and set this concert up. So it's like I said, it's, it's a massive uh, ocean liner. Any idea what the financial impact is going to be not having Coachella this year? Well, the city of India, we've already planned on our budget of not having it in October because we were being very conservative. And if we had funding, we'd be able to put it in. It would just, you know, we'd take less out of our reserves. Uh, it's about $4 million to the city of India not to have those three uh, weekends of concerts. Is there talk, Mayor, of another concert happening in October? Well, it's possible. We're working with Golden Voice now to see what we can do about hopefully having a, a, another concert in October, be it like a desert trip, and, and hopefully either a two-day or a two-weekend uh, concert to help with the economy, not only for the city of Indio, but for the whole Coachella Valley in the state of California. The, the funding that it brings in uh, is amazing to uh, a lot of our businesses who could use a good shot in the arm. And at the same time, uh, it gives a lot of our businesses some hope. So we have a great relationship with the Golden Voice and the Empire Polo Club. And I believe that we'll be able to pull this off besides the, uh, the Coachella Fest and Stagecoach uh, in April. Well, we look forward to hearing that announcement, Mayor. I'm, I'm hoping so also. Well, I know that Coachella Fest and Stagecoach is going to be an amazing event in April. And, and we're just looking forward to another 125,000 people flocking into the Coachella Valley in the city of India to enjoy our beautiful climate, our beautiful culture, and all the people and individuals that come in and, and flourish in our restaurants and our hotels. So uh, can't wait for 2021. All right. Mayor Miller, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.